Vinay from Hi Vinay from V Competency Tech and uh, today we'll create one bot in uh, automation anywhere uh, to see how we can handle the database connectivity, how we can make the SQL queries and retrieve data and save in a uh, CSV file and how we can disconnect. So we'll create one bot for that this is the automation anywhere community edition and there is a new uh, tool so we click this once we will click this there is a workbench okay so we will click on workbench once we will click see these are the command buttons these are the command buttons and this is the task so here only we will create the bot so we will see here this is the database so we will see how we can connect the database so this is the database under that connect command disconnect command SQL query command insert or update or delete command run store procedure so we will see one by one how we can do it so first we will see the connection click on connection and we will give here one session name SQL connection and this is the connection string here we need to select connect and here we need to give connection string and connection string also we can read from any variable okay so right now I am direct clicking from here and this is the Microsoft OLED DB provider for this one like that we should have one Microsoft OLED DB provider for SQL server click next and here we will write uh, this one this is uh, dot is the local server dot slash and this is actually this is SQL Express so this is the server name dot slash SQL Express so this is the server name we will refresh it it takes some minutes so this is done now I will create the window anti integrated security here user ID password not required then here is a select the database select the database on the server so these are the database name so I will select an SQL interview ok and I will click on test connection so test connection succeed ok this is the connection string ok we can save this connection string in any uh, variable direct and from there also we can take so next we will see how we can do that right now I'm going to save it so when this line will execute it will get connected with the database once get connected we need to make the query so SQL query okay so this is SQL query so I will write here select asterisk from okay employee this is one query okay under uh, SQL interview one database is there under that this table is there so this I open now where to export the data right so what I will do I will select here and there is I created one CSV file ok I save this then there is a disconnect command just disconnect so it will disconnect this session so if I see the folder there is a imp CSV file if I open it right now nothing is there ok 
now this is the bot I need to save the bot so I will click save SQL command okay this is the bot name so this is the bot name I save it now I will run it so first it will get connected and it will make query and disconnect it done now if I go and see the employee see now all data came ok so this is how we can connect the database and make query ok so this is the select query I have written enter select statement ok now we have uh, insert I have done already update delete so this is SQL just query now if I click here so here we can write insert this is for select only okay enter select statement if I click here insert update and delete so this commands also we can perform here so let me open the database okay This is the database. Okay. And if we see here, what are the fields are there? Imp ID. So let's let's delete this. So okay. no need to see the database here. What I will do? We have data here, right? So let me delete this record where imp ID is in this one. Okay. Now I will delete this. Let's see. fine so I open here I will write one delete from imply where imp id equal to this ok fine and save it so this I have written now after that I need to select it right I need to retrieve so this select required select asterisk from imply ok and the same ok save it so how it will work first it will connect then it will delete one record then will retrieve record and put in emp.csv so run it so some problem is there near from let's see this is select select a streak from employee anything wrong here? this form not required ok delete employee where this one so save it run it 
again some issues there where keyword where some issues there okay where imp id what is imp id imp id is integer emp id Del oh delete it is delete not detect delete command is mistake okay so delete imply where imp id is now save it and run done so this record should not come 2198 let's see see here 2198 is not come so one record deleted and re remaining records came here so this is the insert like that we can do update and other sorry this is delete and same thing we can do for update delete I have seen same thing you can do, you can do for insert and update so this we can do now how we can uh, uh, call the store procedure so if I I will disable this how to disable any command right click disable now here instead of select here I will call store procedure so store procedure name I have to give see if you want to give parameter you can pass parameter like this so how many parameters are there you can add here, okay so first we will see without parameter fine So I will open the this one store procedure. And I will create one store procedure. So how I will create <coughs> select database create procedure get in data okay as select Asterisk from employee. Okay. So I have created one store procedure. Fine. Now I will go to I will create one of one more store procedure by parameter. So this is without parameter, one I will create for parameter and there I have give one name and I will give uh, at the rate imp 
id int integer type okay and execute this so now we have two uh, store procedures here get imp data and get imp data parameter okay now here i will give uh, i will select store procedure and here i will give get imp data and there is no uh, parameter right so I will give here at least where it will go so this I will give append to already exist so if I don't do it will remove and again add save it fine run it So now a store procedure is running and if we see this see now data is coming okay so what I will do I will delete this once let's try save save it. now I will try the another store procedure P A R A para will have one parameter so parameter enter the parameter and select the type so parameter is at the rate at the rate imp id and type is input okay and edit fine so this we have added what is this update no record okay. so now save it and we'll have one input right just a minute so this is the parameter and we need to give parameter value at the red is input we should have one variable so that we can pass the parameter value I think there should be no let's try this how it will work see the s will come on open the task function action number on third there should be one error because we need to pass the parameter value okay enter the parameter and select type so here I will give I will delete this okay and I am passing here the parameter uh, some value I will pass so what will be the value So let me pass two one eight five. Okay. I will pass two one eight five. So direct the parameter we need to pass the input. Okay. Instead of the parameter variable. And I add it. Okay. And save it so it will pass that data here fine and I will run it so if I go there we'll get only one row oh 
here all row is gone looks I have not deleted let me delete all no all will come because the store procedure is having problem where in ID equal to at the rate empty this is the missing and here I will write alter so now we can execute this now I will come here okay and I deleted the data again fine okay now that is empty now I will run and I will go and see I should get only one row see only one row is coming 2185 imp id this one if you go and see here I am passing 2185 parameter okay this is one thing and second in starting I told that we can store this one connection string in a variable so I will copy here I will cut from here save it ok cancel I will create one variable add connection str value I will give this this is the connection string value the type will be this and this is we can read from text also I saved it ok now I will come here I will remove this there is press F2 I press F2 ok connection str I created and save so now here the connection string will come in a variable ok so run it now csv is already open ok so we need to close it again run it done so if I give here eighty six update then if we click update whatever new data given is come come here now save save is and if I go there and see see this data is coming right 2186 is coming but I want some other data and I don't want to delete the existing one so what I will do I will go here okay I will set here append to an already existing CSV file so I will click this line and I will change this to 5 update see new came new parameter save it save here run ok if I go there we will have two records see two records here so this is how we can use the uh, SQL uh, commands SQL server commands in a automation anywhere bot 
okay so we have almost completed this all and uh, here I have not used update but I use the delete like that you can use the update and insert as well thank you so if you like this video please subscribe my channel we competency tech and please don't forget to click on the bell icon thank you